It is now my pleasure to introduce Mrs. Susan Michael, rising chairperson of the Hun School Board of Trustees. Soon as Susan is completing her 10th year uh, on the board, and next year will be the uh, and next year will be her first uh, as board chair. As founder and CEO of Glen Eagle Advisors, Susan's a highly respected leader in the finance world and a sterling, sterling example for aspiring young people. And her personal wisdom, kindness, and enduring dedication to Han make her ideal as a leader of the board. Susan and her husband, former trustee John Michael, are the proud parents of four Hun School graduates, sons John, Kevin, and Robert walked across this stage as graduates in 2002, 2006, and 2010, respectively, and their daughter, Carol Ann, graduated from Hunt in 2007. Please join me in welcoming Susan Michael. Thank you, John. It is my pleasure to have the opportunity to speak to all the families, students, and faculty of the Hun community today. But more, an immense honor to be representing the Board of Trustees. Many trustees are here today, and others are Zooming from all over the world for our head of school, John Brown's last graduation ceremony. John, I have had the privilege to serve on the board with you which gave me an opportunity to see how the school thrived both as an academic center and community under your leadership. From speaking with parents, students, board members, faculty, and alumni, I can attest to the fact that you will always be remembered for your kind personality and unceasing dedication to our students. We all, from the bottom of our hearts, want to wish you and Carolyn much happiness and success in your retirement. Thank you, John. But now for the real reason we are here today, the soon to be graduates of the class of 2023. I know that as a graduating speaker, the implied expectation is that I will provide you with all the powerful pieces of advice before sending you out into the world. However, the reality is that you already directly and indirectly received ample amounts and much more relevant and personalized advice and life lessons from the experience and the relationships you have developed with your teachers and friends while here at Hun. So today, rather than providing you with advice, I will instead leave you with three quick lessons that I have learned during my own journey. Lesson one, the world is always changing at a rapid pace. When I sat in your seats as a graduating high school senior, the internet did not exist. I still used a typewriter to complete my papers and only 16% of women had graduated from college. Needless to say, times have really changed, but I have found that the change at a very rapid pace. As a small example, it took Netflix almost four years to reach one million users. Facebook, 10 months. Spotify, five months. And ChatGPT did it in just five days. In this environment, it is easy to see and hear others feel overwhelmed and perhaps even pessimistic about the future and the role you will play in it. However, my own experience has taught me that we do not live in a zero-sum world. Innovation can empower and facilitate your ideas and livelihoods rather than destroy them. In fact, of the 270 occupations listed in the 1950 U.S. Census, only one, an elevator operator, has been replaced by automation in the last 70 years. So, as you leave campus today, begin your own journey. Do so with a sense of optimism. History shows us that innovation has always been transformative. You will each get to lead the change and choose how it will impact the world. Lesson number two, 
Your time is something you should allocate intentionally. As the founder of a wealth management firm, I work in a world where success is often sadly defined in terms of money. My own experience has taught me that we inherently value time as much, if not more, than money. I know this because if I offered each of you the opportunity to switch places with Warren Buffett, the world's greatest investor, most of you would turn me down. With the obvious reason being, Mr. Buffett may be a billionaire, but he is also 92 years old. While each of you graduating seniors with billions of opportunities ahead of you. Yet, the realization that time is one of the greatest assets in life comes with its own challenges. We now live in a world where our time is increasingly taken away from us by the ample amount of distractions that we have available to us. It is rare that someone today, including myself, can sit in a car or an appointment without pulling out our phone. But understanding this dynamic and seeing this for what it is, precious and limited commodity can help us each in our lives in two major ways. First, it allows us to confront the reality that we are not physically able to see everyone or do everything. Sometimes it means we need to reserve time to do nothing but let our minds wander without distractions. Other times it means we need to actively invest in our friendships and hobbies. How you choose to spend your time and with whom will ultimately define who you are. Second, looking at the time as a limited resource can help us each better understand our relationships around us, whether that be with friends, family, or colleagues. When people prioritize the relationships they have with you, they are gifting you their most valuable resource, their time. This may be particularly relevant as some of you go to college and actively choose who you want to form new friendships with for the first time in four years. And finally, lesson number three, never stop learning. As a mother of four and a grandmother of nine, I have always been struck by how children are driven by curiosity and constantly seeking to understand the world around them and their place in it. In fact, as your parents, I'm sure, may attest, the average four-year-old will bombard those around them with an average of 200 to 300 questions a day. But as we grow older, our thirst for knowledge often wane. And I think that's because we've become accustomed to our surroundings and because the process of learning often makes us to feel vulnerable as adults. Learning requires stepping outside our comfort zone challenging our existing beliefs, opening ourselves up to new ideas and perspectives. It demands a willingness to admit that we don't have all the answers and that there is always more to learn. From personal experience, this vulnerability can be uncomfortable and unsettling. But through this vulnerability, a true growth and understanding emerges enabling us to expand our horizons and reach our full potential. As Hun graduates, I believe you stand apart from your peers because you have had the privilege to attend one of the world's best academic institutions. Hun has taught you how to be a lifelong learner and it has given you the freedom to think critically. As graduates, you now have the opportunity to use the skills you acquired here at Hun to help shape a better future for all of us. With my utmost admiration, I extend my warmest congratulations to the class of 2023, and I wish each of you best of luck as you begin the next stage of your own journey. Thank you. <laughs>